Hello everybody, this is Steven, back with Canon.com to do another deep dive in this stock which is up huge, up over 50% since early February uh, this year, 2021. And this is uh, Fire and Flower, the company uh, up north in Canada that has many dispensaries and, and uh, is pretty well branded. Let's, let's jump over to their pricing chart now. You'll see we're looking at FFLWF, this is their OTC ticker here. Uh, listed down in the United States, but they do most of their business uh, in Canada. And you can see January we're trading around 70 cents. And that actually dips uh, to low 60s. And then this huge move we see, it actually goes all the way up a above a dollar and, and currently is uh, given a little bit of that back, trading around 98 cents now. So why did this happen? Let's see if it was technically driven or fundamentally driven uh, and whether we could have uh, seen it coming or not. Uh, so we're looking at EMA here, uh, the triple exponential moving averages. We have a short period in the red, a uh, medium term period in the green, and this time it's 50 days, not uh, 100. And then a long term in the blue, that's our 200 still. So you can see the blue is definitely still behind. These lines are pretty superimposed, hard to see where, which one is where on top or on bottom from the last week in January. And then we see our move. And then finally, a couple days later, we see our short-term average really take off. We could not have predicted this, this move and gotten a good buy-in using the, the exponential moving averages here. You can see it's a lagging indicator. We have the CCI, the Commodity Channel Index. Uh, again, our bounds on the upper and lower end here are 100 and negative 100. Uh, we were actually below. We peaked at, what was that, minus 219 on the 28th of January. And then look at this slope change, pretty drastic slope change, taking us uh, from negative 100 to 100 in just two uh, days. Uh, so that's a pretty quick change. Uh, still pretty early on in the move here. We're still only at 68 cents when we actually go above. Um, and you can see really peaked very high, 268 uh, during this this big price increase. So this one does give a little bit of a hint. Had we gotten in right here? Had we gotten in during this slope change? Uh, by the time we're here, there's still a lot of price to be gained. That's 79 cents and we had, you know, 30 cents past that. So the CCI would have been pretty useful, but it wouldn't have told us at the beginning of the trade what was happening. Same with the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. It is uh, pretty mirrors pretty much what the CCI says. It's not as negative, right? We're staying in our territory here, about the, the bounds here. Uh, again, our 30 and 70. And you can say we're pretty middle of the board until February 8th when we actually get a peak. That's the same kind of signal at 79 uh, cents that we saw the peak of the CCI. Uh, is the cross of the RSI. So these two signals are giving us a little bit of a signal to buy. They're giving it here on the 8th of February. Um, an earlier signal would have been a couple days earlier, but still plenty to gain using these. So none of our uh, three indicators here that are really telling us and predicting that this big move is coming. Uh, so perhaps it was fundamentally driven, and indeed there was some news about a NASDAQ listing and some acquisitions. Uh, so definitely pay attention to uh, the Canon Chronicle this weekend when we're going to outline both uh, the fundamentals uh, and this technical analysis. Uh, so that's Fire and Flower, another one to watch up in Canada now entering the United States uh, and some excitement in the price uh, in February. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen here. The CCI is down, the RSI is down. We do have strength from the EMA, the short term as well above the long term here. So uh, perhaps it will come down a little bit, perhaps it will hold for the next week. So, so let's uh, pay attention to Fire and Flower. Thank you very much. Happy trading.